Right, I'm measuring the spindle run out in my rivet 608. The 5C collet is um, part, an integral part of the headstock and um, is ground in. It would have been very, very accurate when it was first made, but now has slipped out of accuracy. Um, and I've got 0.01 of a millimetre of run out of run out. I'll now fit in uh, the um, ER32 collet chuck into the spindle and we'll see how that fares. Okay, uh, I'll now put in the um, ER32 collet chuck, which uh, is the one that came from China. Beautifully machined, looks the real business. So we'll just check now and see how this fits in. Just tighten up the closer. nice and tight. Let's see what the run out's like on this. Five point 0.05 of a millimetre run out but funnily enough if I measure on the body on the outside of the body that is incredibly accurate so I wonder why the inside of the holder is so far out. Let's measure it here on this other machine surface as well. That's even more accurate. 0.05 of a 0.005 of a millimetre at that particular point on the holder. So, really rather disappointing. Um, the only way to deal with that is to regrind the taper on the inside of the spindle. Um, at least if I do that in situ, it should correct any inaccuracies that there are in the 5C collet that's holding it. After regrinding the inside of the taper in the ER collet, I've got some good concentricity now. The run out's very, very, very little. One final check, um, the run out at six inches from the chuck. I'm never going to carry out 
turning work that far away from a collet chuck anyway, but it's just interesting to see. Um, I'm happy enough with the results now, and that's quite usable the way it is. A vast improvement on the originally purchased item.